Welcome back to Purple Collar Life. It is about two hours before sundown here, and I've got a couple things I wanted to work on real quick this Saturday. So let's get moving and we'll talk while we walk. So I've still got some oak in the back of the Polaris Ranger that I want to get stacked up in the woods in the wood pile. We're actually going to start a new pile for the oak so that I don't get it confused with that other oak that I cut uh, about a year ago. So it's been a year seasoning now. So you can see we've got the Ranger running, but you might hear something else running. I've got the Mini X out because I have a short Mini X project. There you go, first stack of oak for winter 2025. So what I'm doing back here with the Takeuchi is, when I dug out those stumps I just left them, this was a perfect day to go ahead and grab them and drag them further into the woods. Because I also wanted to inspect this area. We've had quite a bit of rain lately, and I wanted to see how wet it gets about this time of year. Now it is fairly wet. I'm seeing a lot of water on the tracks of the Mini X. So I'm not sure how this area would be for firewood. We talked about it before, that I might want to dig a little ditch in front of this to get the water going past it um, but then that's a ditch I'm always crossing with firewood or the mini X if I decide to park it down here so I do want to get this area cleared out a little bit better and inspect the water level and that's what we're working on right now there's the first mud running down off of the mini X since I've owned it the ground is pretty wet down here there's a lot of springs
like to see if I can grab that old apple tree there and just pull it out and then with the front blade maybe push some of this in try to get this smoothed out a little bit I've got the mini excavator stuck I was actually a little worried about that in this wet area I'm hoping again I am no expert but I'm hoping that if I spin the house I can grab with the bucket out here and pull myself back up out of this Ugh. Well, we were in there, but the bucket had plenty of power to pull us out. It wasn't wasn't what I would say is hard, but for my first time, it also wasn't easy. And look at that thing. Ugh. 
all muddy. So I'd say that probably answers my question about this being the place for my future firewood station or wood yard uh, for the log splitter and the mini X. It's just too wet, especially this time of year. Now, most of the summer it might be okay, but spring it's going to even be more wet than this. I should have known it's downhill. We actually have some drainage that runs across here. Um, it is a nice area. It's close to the house. It's close to the garage, close to the big building, but unless I do something about drainage or you know the the elevation of the pad that it's on and then a nice ramp into it I'm afraid it's just going to be too wet deer out back they heard me working they wanted to see what's going on right back there to the left of the pole well for tonight we're gonna leave the Takeuchi out maybe some rainwater will hit it tomorrow I'm not sure I'll have to look at the weather but it would be nice to get some of that rinsed off before I pull it back in the big building obviously the best thing to do here would probably be hit it with the hose get those tracks completely cleared out but Still no outside water. It hasn't been a huge priority for me. Now we're getting into winter, so I won't do it before winter, but definitely next spring, I'm gonna have to figure out a solution to my outside water needs. What are you guys doing back there? Huh? Well, we got it muddy. Now we gotta clean it up.
Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and entertaining, not that much happened, but we did get the talk stuck. So, and we got it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.